by the right of the council, by the will of the force, welcome back into another episode of the Galaxy Famous Jedi Talk podcast, our and or recap show. I'm beginning to think the force and I have different priorities. Different priorities and and or recap show presented to you by the full council of Jedi Talk. We are back and better than ever. And you are hearing our first episode post Hurricane Ian. We all have all survived. Yeah. Even Evan, unfortunately. Uh, we have all survived, made it Even through. Guardians of the Galaxy, unfortunately. Yeah, it survived. It did. You know what didn't survive? Uh, the side of River Jurassic Adventure, Park. Jurassic Park got torn off. Yeah, that was wild. Hulk got flooded, but everyone's okay. It happened. If, if you're out there, I actually just don't, you know, if you can help, help. There's there's some bad shit out in Fort Myers. It is wrecked out there. Yeah. Um, but um, we're here. We're Get your mind off of that if you're listening here in state. The full council's here, and we're going to talk about Andor today. To the left of me, yeah. the, as Brad likes to call him, the man, the myth, the legend. I just call him Mantha from another Bantha because he sat in a pie. Evan T. Boucher. <laughs> Evan, how the hell are you? Hello there. Um, my dad actually sat in lasagna. It's a great story that he tells, so I'll let him tell that one day. Well, how cool would need it be if call him right, right now? Like, I need to right know this. Now, right Evan, now. I need to know the fucking lasagna story. You know what? Maybe on a different episode. we got to keep the listeners around Damn somehow. It, no, fuck you. They don't come for our Star Wars talk. They come for sitting in lasagna talk. I wish that was true. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, can we talk yeah. more about sitting in lasagna? Yep. Garfield wasn't happy with him, though, because we're in Indiana. Garfield's in Indiana. He was <sighs> like, come on, man. Garfield was in Indiana? Yeah, he's mm-hmm. from Muncie. Muncie, that's right. Yep. That is a boring-ass cat. That's why he <laughs> yep. was always fat and trying to kill yeah, himself. There's nothing to do except <laughs> eat lasagna. Like, What are we going to do up there? He, he lived with the most insufferable person ever. It's like if Kyle John were to grow too. up and John not get married terrible. and have a cat. <laughs> Was John? It's he Kyle Constantino. And Man. kill himself. No, 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 no. Hold on. John is a thousand percent Kyle. <laughs> if he never gets married, maybe a little. He's taller. growing up and getting an orange cat. Oh yeah, John's much taller than Kyle in the <laughs> cartoon. But like, you just have to imagine this insufferable son of a bitch just going to work each day in and out, and he takes his abuse out on a cat who's eating him out of his house and home. Wasn't he also a therapist? Wasn't John also he a therapist? He probably was. I don't want to look into this. Let's just assume he's a therapist. I, I th- The man that's asking if John is a therapist, to my left, is oh. one Mr. <laughs> Bradley Hughes. Brad, I got off on that. How are nice you? Nice job, Evan. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I'm, just I'm for glad. that, I'm going to play Evan's favorite song. Oh, shake your body, baby. Do that conga. Cosmic what Rewind. is your favorite Cosmic thing? Rewind song that you've had? I've only got two, and it's not conga, so it's the um, Rule the World. Oh, that's a good one. That's but my favorite song. My still. answer is never that. It's always the guitar riff yeah, before the big bang. It's sufferable. The ding dang, the piggy bank. Anyway, those are hi Brad. generous jokes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this joke was presented by somebody who hates their girlfriend. This um. <laughs> this Wait. is this is uh, no. I was talking about Ellen El- DeGeneres. Not right. No, no, I was like, not no, you. No, okay. We, I was I know, like, I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my favorite thing about the Energy Pavilion was that it was sponsored by an oil company. By Exxon. Oh yeah, right. What the hell was that all about? Yeah. It was. There's so much propaganda too. There's, Have there's, you seen those comics? There's only a little oh, bit of renewable no. resource here. Yeah. Uh, enough to last us another 15 years. Now, don't be concerned in 15 years when there's still plenty of oil and yeah. we're charging a premium for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's so stupid. A weird response. And they're like, well, you know, everything else is just not as sustainable as oil. <laughs> Brought to you by Exxon. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're sorry. Like, here's Brought the thing. That may or may not be true. I'm not a fucking scientist, but, like, to have an oil company saying that is fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what's up, everybody? I'm glad you're I'm glad you're back from Paris. No oui, longer oui. hanging with those fucking gross people. Oh, uh-huh. uh-huh. um, oui, oui. Tokyo's next. Yeah, yeah, Woo. Tokyo for sure. I'm sipping on some Buffalo Trace right now. It's fucking delicious. I'm sipping on some Indica strain. I, I, I don't know what the name of it is. Sipping on gin and juice. You know what's funny? What? I've never been like a big cigar and whiskey guy together. Like, I like them separately. But I find, well, now that I've gotten into like, t- I know it's odd, right? I'm going to be buying my uh, cigar very, very soon here. <laughs> I uh, I've always been like I don't get the pairing, but now, oh, yeah, but yeah. now that I because like cause me and I was like it's always like redundant. It's like heavy bold flavors, right? And then, but once I got it into bourbon and like started doing like the notes, what's interesting is your tongue gets like hit from the cigar, and so like that all that smoky flavors there. Yeah. So then when you taste the bourbon, it's like super sweet. So you can taste all the like sweetness in there. Okay. It's really That's interesting. Cool. That does it's make really, sense. It's really interesting, and I'm like enjoying this together more than I ever have. That's cool. You've like, opened up your tongue's third eye. Like this tastes like fucking syrup to me right now. You know like, who I opened up my third eye? Uncle Boobs. <laughs> Uncle Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's been a while who we've heard from too. 
Okay, so obviously not only are you in support of these troopers being in the brig, you're tearing this poor family apart. The one true Lieutenant Croy, fuck you, Instagram whiny Ooh, bitch. They that, got mad. That Facebook thing was stupid. I'm not even gonna. They got mad. So so what? There's a, then, a, a hey, group for what, Lieutenant Croy. Do better then, huh? Hey, then do and better. Some people like that version. I mean, some everybody people, likes that version. But Adam is. But like, there's or Adam. He, that's he, what he was. I'm he was our Lieutenant Croy. He, that's why we love him. Yeah. Yeah. If we'd have had you, we would have loved you too. It is just a coincidence mm. that we shut up. It is just a coincidence that we had him. I don't know. I've seen no, one. It's and I'm true. Like, it's no, true. he's absolutely Cause, right. Because then, then that would be your perspective of who yes. Croy is. Bre- Brad's and absolutely right. And you'd right be here. like, yeah. oh, that's not the thing that I'm used to, so it's different to me, and I don't like it as much. That that is confirmation bias. That's that all that's true. happening here. But because you watch like, one. I've watched thousands of vlogs. You weren't there. You watch one. And I'm like, it. this guy is boring. And you watch one. And you're like, this guy's crazy. Nah, what the heck? No, nah, I know. I'm not with it because I've seen people say that like, oh, the, this band live is terrible. And then you go see them live, and I'm like, what? That's the same thing I've watched on video, and it's so much better live. Yeah. It's like it's it's, it's your experience because Brad and I, I, I can't replicate the night we had. Neither you can either. No. It, it would just be different in that in a different kind of epic for us if it was a different Croy or or a different Wraith, a different Sammy even. You know. Yeah. Unless they were just sa- objectively like, I bad. think Sage is the best Sammy, but you had a great Sammy too. Yeah, it's yeah. all it's all about who you experience, man. Like that's true. I, th- how many times have you seen like right. no one could ever do that role better? Like how many times have you heard that oh, about so the much. Joker? Yes, and then you get like yes. a Joaquin Phoenix, and you're like, holy yeah, shit, holy that's shit, just he did it better, good in yeah. a different way. Yeah, and it's the same kind of thing where it's like because Jack Nicholson, he's the certain parts you can't do that yeah. he did. Like Ledger, it's a different take on the character. Caesar Romero. You might like a different take better. But right. it's also just what you experience. I guarantee you, the people, the kids who grew up watching Jack Nicholson's Joker, think he's it's it's Saturday Night Live. Like, yeah. my, my version of Saturday Night Live was the best because it was what I grew up watching. Oh sure. I don't yeah. think it, I don't think it's anyone. It's a question that the music you grew up listening to sticks with you. Of course. Yeah. And that's across. And the, but all the other music also exists. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's all still there. It's right. just your experience with it. And it's I always been there too. It's, it's not been. like it's just new. Yeah. Like, true. So, but fuck you guys. He's the best. Um, so, Andor. <laughs> um, so, we Not have Brad. We have Evan. Andor. Um, you know, oh, different priorities. Different priorities. I think it's a great title because that's how I feel about this <laughs> fucking show. But the show has different priorities. I sometimes. have different priorities like than watching this fucking show. I. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do, I'll give my overall thoughts. I haven't finished episode five yet. I have so had a crazy week. Did. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I, have, I haven't finished episode five yet, but I did finish four, and I'm like, I have 10 minutes left of five. Which means there's probably three minutes left because the credits are like fucking forty minutes. They're the long. Minute. That's another thing with these credits. Is this <laughs> the first one without the like concept art credits? Did Boba Fett have that? Boba Fett did. But Boba Fett a, did. That's yeah. a Favreau thing. I think. Yeah, that's a yeah. that universe. I think, yeah. I think it's a creative choice thing. Um, I do not care. I, my dad asked me today. He goes, "I have free time this weekend. Is Andor worth watching?" I said, "If it wasn't Star Wars, I'd be out. If this was a Marvel show." Yeah, you guys said that be on your episode one through three recap, I, I and stand I agreed hundred percent. I stand by. It. I don't know, I, if, like, if something really cool happens in the last ten minutes of episode five. It doesn't. So but I, but it doesn't every week it feel like they're building to something, and then yeah. they just don't and fucking then it just do ends. it. The episode just ends. But and but, like, but then it did, like okay. that's fine. But then like the next week they don't follow through with it. Well, it's because there's, there's no there's seven episodes. There's left. three episode arcs. I, is what they are. So <laughs> if they follow through with it with the arc, sure. Like but they haven't. One We're three. five episodes in. No, like one through three was an arc. We're five episodes in. <laughs> Four, five, and six is an arc. So like one through three did have a. Is end. it though? It did have a payoff. But it's but it's like, it's not it's an arc th- if it all feeds in and it's the same story. The, when you say a three episode arc, so like say that. They, what about the trilogies? The original trilogy has a three movie arc, but it also ca- connects to the prequels. Yeah, and it connects it, to the sequels. But it connects tertiarily. It, this is a story that is flowing. I think they were saying. It's like my understanding of the three episode arc thing was it was going to be because they said time jumps. That's so, season two. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay. Season one is year one. Of and the season two is going to be like f- then. Then four fuck years. my argument. Like, yeah. I, uh, it's not valid. <laughs> well, it's you, not because I was that, I was thinking that it was, argument's not. But yeah, the way you feel about Andor. No, is still this valid. show's boring as like, shit. Yeah, I, I don't. Valid. I keep seeing all this praise and I'm like, I wish I could see what you see because I do not fucking get it. Yeah. I am so beyond bored. Like I've never checked my phone more during a Star Wars show or a movie than that. I mean, I I think Attack of the Clones is more entertaining than this. The quality of this is better. Much better, yeah. yeah. But the entertainment in Attack of the Clones is better. Yeah. This That's is fair. boring yeah. as shit, man. This is boring. I, know. I, I I never said it's not. I just find it very interesting. I, I And I appreciate the difference that Andor is giving us in a Star a Wars story. I character study of, of this guy. I don't care enough. I'm, I, like, I, like, Why didn't they do I this agree. with Obi-Wan? 
Like, why didn't you because draw this out with him? Like, those are characters that we give a shit about. No one gives a yes, fuck about that Cassian they, Andor. But they're not. This show is not for the show that Obi Wan was for. Two different audiences. This one is strictly <sighs> for adult Star Wars fans, and I'm not saying but that's I not am, us. We, but I, I, I know, one. but I'm, they're 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 looking past us who are as big of a Star Wars fans as we are. They're, like the Rogue One audience who think Rogue One is the best thing Star Wars has ever done are very staunchly different those than Those people are than clearly are. brain dead. Those are the same people saying this is yes, the best Star those Wars. those are the people who love yeah. this. But you're right. what is because there to love? I don't, I, can, I just, can someone who loves this, Matt, you're, I know you're listening to this. He's going to be on the show next it. week, by the way. Perfect. In person? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Okay. He said because during the week we'll have to do it during phone. That's fine. The phone, yeah. um, Matt, please fill me in because I think he likes the show, right? Doesn't he? I, I, uh-huh. I saw him comment. Yeah. I Please explain to me what I'm missing because I do not fucking get. I don't get it. The only thing interesting to me was that was the conversation in episode five. We'll get to the whole four in a second, but in episode five, where he's the dude that failed and fucked everything up for the security team. Dude, here's how I know I'm bored. I don't know anyone's name other than oh, Cyril Karn is his name. I don't remember. I don't know anyone's name, name either. But that's I'm not, not bored. Like us, that's though. the problem with no, the show. No, there's a lot of characters. That's the problem with yeah, the show. There's, there's there, a lot, and of they've characters. only said everyone's name like once. Yes, but they're, I watch it like, with the captions you, on. So do I. So but, I still but, don't fucking. But remember you only it. see his name Neither once, though. Like you, you only see it or hear yeah. his name once. And it's like you got to remember this now for the next 18 weeks. It's like I forgot his name. Like the only reason I remember Bix's name is because I like remember saying Bix over and over my head. Like okay, she's gonna be important. Bix, 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 Bix. And the same with Tim as like. Like Tim yes. is a Star Wars name yeah. now. Tim, <laughs> well, Luke. I mean, yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's why I was like, oh yeah, yeah Luke. That's what hit it's me. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I, I just like when you said we're on the, on the last episode we did, which this is releasing first, but we, we recorded an opposite yeah. order this week because we want to talk about Disneyland Paris. But um, like when you said the name of the character that is the TVC figure, yeah, I can't tell you who the fuck it is. Uh, I, I, yeah, could I know. not tell you who that is. Vel. I don't know, male. I know who Vel so is. So it's a girl. Vel, Vel is the, Vel's the, the leader, leader of the of people the, like the, on... The blonde chick? Is she yeah. blonde? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Like the leader the, of the, the mini The one who yeah. thinks she's in charge but isn't? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know, man. I, like, I really just want something... I think that was filmed <laughs> in, like, Norway, too, by the way. It it just, it's it gorgeous. Like it, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's gorgeous. The show's beautiful. I, yeah. The set design, it, yeah. it's the all good. The is amazing. The costuming is incredible. Yeah. Except... The guns. The guns, dude. It fucking looks like mine. drives yeah. me crazy. I haven't like even noticed. That really? They don't even oh use the guns. It, it doesn't. No, matter. It's a fr- like, I, I dude, saw it. Looks it looks like an AK forty seven. It, it did. It, it, it looked too modern. It looks like they're like in Iraq. Didn't even notice. Like it, it, it looks like they're in a war. Yeah. It, well, they are, but like, like they are in a war, Iraq. but not an Earth but war. But not a single oh, yeah, gun like in Star Wars looks like that. No, it doesn't. It is completely off. True. Huh. They took an look AK. for it next week because I'm not going to rewatch it. Even I'll the, look for it next week. Look at the look at the action figure photo. It's in that. It looks like a fucking an AK yeah. gun. Like, wow. like it's they insane. couldn't even change the toy. No, uh, Cara huh. Dune's Black Series kind of has one that's a little real. I was like, hers might like, be the closest started, I've seen. To this like one, I started gun, like her her like Gatling gun. I'm like, all right, that's that's kind of. The one that jams and she says, "Dank Ferric." Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. But I mean, like, it still has a Star Warsy feel to yeah. it. This doesn't. We haven't seen him blast it, but like, I can't imagine blaster bolts coming out of that gun. Can you? Like, we look at like no, yeah, like, it doesn't look. It, right. I am expecting bullets. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't and look American right. made bullets. Now it'd be kind of cool if they had to like make their own weapons and it kind of looks a little different. Like that's cool, but like it just looks too real. Yeah. It just looks too real to me. Yeah. But everything else is like gorgeous. Like the whole show is beautifully shot. The cinematography is incredible. The music is. I didn't like the first few, but it's kind of it's it just kind of blends it's, in now. It's kind of yeah. forgettable though. It's very forgettable. Like, I can't yeah. hum a single thing. I still Neither like the I. In, I still like the the opening intro. Yeah, but like, I don't know, man. I'm I I am frustrated with this show, and I wish I could get into it. I doesn't. This is this is exactly what I was afraid of, but it's worse than I thought it was going to be. Because nothing's going on. Like, not, we're it watching will. them mark. We're watching you march in the fucking field. Like, I don't want to watch this. I don't care. And it's like, don't touch my stuff. How many times are we going to be like, don't touch me, don't do It's like, come on, man. Yeah. That's like, the thing, too. Like, they, what, what is this? What Like, what are you hiding? What A, what are you hiding? Well, the you kyber ha- crystal is what he was hiding. Yeah. He was wearing it. I know, but Under he, all of his he didn't clothes. want him to find out. And then they found it, and they're like, this is worth 30,000 credits. Like, what are you doing here? But Luke oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's yeah. right. It might have happened. That. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah, that, that is right, something that right. kind of happens. So. It's not like a spoiler. That, but oh, like, I don't oh, care. Yeah. It's, it's nothing major. Yeah. Because that's I, when it comes out that they're like, he's like, I'm being paid to be here. Fine. And they're yeah, like, oh, so you tells him. Okay, like, So you don't care about the cause. He's like, no, something actually happens. Yeah. yeah. Well, and okay. then what that 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 but opens the road too for that guy to come back and he's like she she wants me to tell you about 
what happened to my brother. So it's like you're starting to learn why He's every like, single one yeah. of them are fighting. That was pretty dark. I mean, what happened to his brother? Yes, that was really messed up. That's why, I, like, like, like this show is boring, but I still like it. Like, it hasn't done anything to get me off of it yet. It's got points and that are like, it's Whoa, boring. Okay, trust then, me, it's boring. I get it, yeah. and I understand it, and I don't think anybody's wrong when they say that. And they, and it's true, nothing has happened, but, but it hasn't done anything to, to not, not get me to plot. stop yet. What's the plot? Right now, the plot is they're the going to steal all this money. Yeah, the, they're they're building towards this heist. <laughs> we don't know what. We don't know. I mean, we know where, but we yeah, don't. Yeah, we don't. They're stealing we know all the money. Where. It's an yeah, entire stealing, payroll. Yeah, the payroll for the garrison. Two hundred thousand. The garrison. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's not even that much money. Well, to go on a fucking six oh, no. people. It's, it's no, 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 no. I'm sorry. It's something. It's not two hundred thousand. They're that. That's what. That's what Cassie's Cassian's gonna gonna getting. Yeah. Yeah. So it's much oh, more than it that. Was like, it was something like for 30,000 people or something, right? Yeah, wasn't like it? A, yeah, it's, it's a, a lot, lot of money. money. It's I, a lot of credits. I, dude, I mean, how, how long are we going to drag this? Sh- We're in episode five. Where the season's halfway done almost. And nothing has happened of interest. Yep. Nothing. The thing that could have been interesting, they skipped. The dinner with Mon Mothma and Sly Moore. Right? That would have been crazy. I love all of her stuff. Like, yeah. who is this dude? Like, it's her husband, their daughter's Parent. talking shit. That's her husband shit. and her Parent. daughter. That's, and yeah. Yeah. Their parents Lita, and like we don't Lita's know who the, they're gonna bre- like obviously gonna get a divorce because like no I think they're getting axed I I think they're gonna get killed oh, oh interesting dang. and that would make but I think that's what that's gonna but force Perrin, on Perrin kind of supports the the empire so like he doesn't yeah. really care he's like I'm existing man this is fun I'm having he's a good balling time. in like, a fucking yeah that 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 apartment's whatever. beautiful. Uh, unbelievably oh, yeah. gorgeous, yeah. unbelievably gorgeous. But I, to me, I still think the best thing that's happened in the show so far was the conversation between homeboy who was a fuck up and and his mom talking his about the uncle. abusive mother. Oh, Cyril yes. Karn. Yeah, yeah, I like his, his character. Yeah, Which, I, I do, and I don't know why I do. I love his character too, but he's interesting to me. There's something about him, like it's almost like he's like unhinged, and I'm just waiting for like the hat to drop snap. and him snap and lose his shit. Yeah. Because he's he wants to do whatever he can to move up, just keep moving up, and he's that's a Fuck perfect him. imperial idea. Yeah. He's not officially he's, he's imperial gonna, yet. So that's what this is going to be, right? What's like his, his uncle? Yeah, they're like, is his uncle going to like, like that? I get like, him called up into the empire, you're building like, to something, where this is just like every episode. You're like, okay, well the next week they're going to do it, and then it's like they don't. That's what the they're building week, to. I know. Get to it. It's five <laughs> episodes. There's not but like out of twelve. I mean, like I'm dude. not supporting it. I'm just telling you what it is. I'm not saying uh, do you, so. So theoretically, they could drag this shit out for yeah, another three fucking it. episodes. Yeah, I will, I will bash it. Like, yeah. that, but that's insane. That's bad. Yeah. How did this get another season based on know. what we've seen so well, far? I think season two is completely different. It it's got to have fucking more rebellion, more K two S O, more it's like more shit. Yeah. I, maybe I just Antoc don't get Merrick shows up. I maybe would love like that. hey, maybe this is where we maybe Krennic shows up. Like, at this yeah. heist. Krennic better fucking show up in this. Now, what if that he was will. Krennic that is in that Imperial shuttle that flies away? Did you see that when it the shuttle flies away? That could have been. It's could've the been same Krennic. shuttle that they use for all their higher... Vader uses yeah. it, Tarkin uses it. They all use it. So what if t- Krennic is on this planet? That would be great. Know. I just wish I could see what people like about it because I just don't get it. Yeah, no, I feel you. Like, I don't hate it, but I, I don't like, hate what do you it. Love? I feel like How is I'm, it the best? I'm, yeah, that's the thing. I'm just like, what are you it's fucking talking? No, no, I'm no, it's seeing not a lot of that though. It's not. People, this is the I best Star Wars that thing that. that they've put out. No, what are you fucking on? No, 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 yeah. no. Come but, on. But that's a dude. I'm telling you, it is a lot this, of people that are giving this, this show stand, like. I know yeah. this could stand on its own as just like t- a regular show, but it's not a, the best Star Wars. Now, until no. basically until episode five, was more interesting than this. Nah, I don't know about no. that. Bad Batch was more interesting than this. If Cat you take Bane out popped up and shit happened. If you take out Mon Mothma and shit actually went down if, in that. If you well, take Mac out Mon Mothma, yes, I agree. Uh, yeah, okay, a whole season versus five we've gotten thus far. Yes, Bad Batch is better. But, but that Bad Batch was only six episodes, wasn't it? No, Bad nah, Batch was, was twenty-two or something. No, yeah, yes. it, was, it was a lot. It was, it was a lot. It's There's animation. No way, it was twenty-two episodes. Well, it, Maybe it was 12? more than t- it was more than ten for sure. And I, I, it was a lot. It was like with the point where. It just we forgot it was even a thing because it kept going and going and nothing happened. No, I, I was the only one that kept remembering to watch. I know. I watched Bad Batch. I didn't watch it. Like I watched I, it too, but I right, forgot. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Sixteen Still, that's episodes. A lot. I don't remember watching that much of it. <laughs> it's not <laughs> I mean, a good time. I, I don't remember. I mean, we did. We we Sadly, talked I do. about it, but Jesus Christ, I don't remember that. I don't know, man. All right, so let's, let's break each episode down. So episode, or what, what did you want to say? Through. Let's just kind of just lump let me, them together. Evan, okay. let me Evan go ahead and introduce them. You yeah. guys got your one through three out of the way. So interesting that they used a timestamp of five years BBY. Interesting. Like, we knew it was five years, but to make that, like, their official BBY, that's a weird thing, I feel like. I don't hate it. 
But I'm like, that's just weird. I don't think casual fans know what BBY is. Right. I'm like, that's weird. But all right. So then we've already mentioned there are three. If you don't know, arts. it's Battle uh, Battle of uh, BBY. It's Yevin. before Battle of Yavin. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Cyril Karn, first time he pops up, I was like, did they de age the guy from uh, Twin Peaks? Yeah. That's he what looks I just too. like Twin Peaks guy. Mm-hmm. I was like, holy cow. Which I like that actor, but it's not the same guy, obviously. But right. anyway. He's great in the Flintstones. Yeah. You, yeah. You mentioned that a while ago. And I was like, oh, yeah. That is the Flintstones same guy. Same dude. Yeah. Um, we I love the costuming. So the whole like plot point, especially in the first three episodes of that imperial like ship navigator box, I I was like, did I miss him stealing that? When did this happen? I was so confused because it was pretty important. And then like, I guess he stole it before the show started, and then he just leaves it on the planet, so it's not that important. I was very yeah. confused by that. It's just a drop of the ball. It's just. Yeah. Another one of those things where it's like you set um, something up and then just don't deliver on it. So we get the flashbacks to what's going on with that. Like there's no adults. That's an interesting thing, but there hasn't been flashbacks since episodes one, two, and three. So nope. what's going on with those? Like they're stranded on this moon with no adults, yeah. but he's more than six years old, but he's been in this fight since I was six years old. So what's going on? Are, were you or weren't you in the fight when you were six years old? Maybe that'll get answered. We're not done yet. Like I don't know. could be answered. I just... I just just I, I just want to know how many episodes do you give this before you just before we say it sucks? Does the majority of it have the whole to suck? Season. Yeah, I'm yeah. giving the whole once, season. Once absolutely. the season ends, okay. I can say that was great. That was man, that sucked. Whatever. But how do you think it, it's gonna like? What, I I think I'm gonna go. This show's the worst Star Wars show. Live <laughs> You're action. You're gonna say that the worst live action. I I think that I think the, yes. If I, we I follow, if it keeps on this path, that's what I I'm agree. saying. If we yeah. keep yeah. this, if nothing pays the off, then it's not going to be better than yeah. Book of Boba Fett. No, right, right. I agree, but we'll see. We got a whole season to finish. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Um, was, was it I'm like, not ready to judge it yet. There. Hang on. Even with Book of Boba Fett, like stuff happened. It might not have been like the most groundbreaking Star Wars stuff, but the train episode was interesting. Yeah. It was action. It was not that you need action. You don't need always need action. But like no. the Rancor stuff, like there was cool things about Cobb that. Cobb Vanth stuff was dope. Like there Cad was cool Bane stuff, stuff was like dope. that that was really good that just isn't in the show, at yeah. least not yet. Yeah. And I, and Mon Mothma is about as close as you're going to get to like a cameo. Yeah. And they're not even and using she's her. she's only to, in it for eight minutes. They're not even using her as much as they should be. Yeah. yeah, I know. She should be a focal point. Yes. 100% yes. There's three stories going on. It's Andor's and his little thing. Four, if you count the flashbacks. Yeah. Mon Mothma. Andor flashbacks, and then Luthen's the f- kind of tied in the Mothma. Yeah, where the fuck did so. he go? He's oh, we he saw him in, a f- in four. We saw him in yeah. four. He was in episode five. I'll as well, I want to talk too. more about was him because I love yeah. him. Was that, yeah, oh, was that, yeah, yeah, that's he's right. In five. That was he the was, thing where they went nervous. to the store, right? And then they went. Yeah. Well, put the on end, the cloak you, thing. You, no, that's that. That's four. Uh, okay. in, in five, he's he's like listening. Is that his wife that comes in? No, I just think it's like it might be his daughter. That's what I was thinking. Someone that is like cares about yeah. him but yeah he's uh he was listening, listening into the, the mission tra- trying to see how they were doing it. okay she's so like he's you know they're not gonna it. call okay. yeah and okay. he's like yeah i know i'm gonna he's been involved yeah. yeah okay i need to finish um, it like i said but luthan though luthan's a badass i, I like him a i lot. love that he's character. cool he's really he's cool. the best part of the show yeah he was, he's even better than mon mothma and i like mon mothma as a character i think you're better. right yeah but so far th- this goes back to the whole solo being a quote heist film i don't know if star wars knows the definition of spy and heist because like this is a spy drama i'm like is it? This is more of a heist than fucking Solo. Yeah, I'm like, Solo is a heist film Solo, right now. Yeah. Solo was so a, like, what's going on had with a heist in it. Yeah. It wasn't a heist movie. Like, what's these buzzwords <laughs> if you don't know what a spy film is and a heist <laughs> film is? like He's not a spy yet. Right. But that's the other thing. It's like, <laughs> they're like, we're going to see him change. This is not the character you saw in Rogue One. But at the same time, it's the exact he's, same he's fucking teaching character. them, like, you, you shoot with your left hand, so you should stand on this side. You shoot with your right hand. So it's like, wait, so he is the same character. That was my big gripe in, so in like, 1, 2, and 3. Does Remember, he know his like, stuff or does he not know his stuff? Exactly. He has, he's, I thought he was going to be this, like, bumbling idiot, for lack same. of a better term. But he's, and he's not. smarter than the people that are planning this heist. Yeah, and you're so like, like wh- what's going on? <laughs> Yeah. It shows all over the fucking place. Yeah. So that was basically one, two, and three. Now, in episode four, we got the ISB, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. Seeing that on Coruscant, that was cool. Gideon could be in there somewhere. You never know, man. Like, he works for the ISB. So he'd be s- a lot younger, obviously. Gideon? Moff Gideon works for the ISB? Yeah. Where's that? The Imperial Security Bureau. But where do they say that? Is that a Mando? I'm pretty sure yeah. it is a Mando, yeah. Really? Yeah. Like ISB Cardoon, officer, yeah. Car- Cardoon's like, he's a, uh, uh-huh. a ISB officer. Come yeah, off, yeah, Gideon. She, uh, she was the only uh, one who like knew who he was. Yeah. So oh, I don't know if it'll connect, but like he could be in that building somewhere. Push and paper yeah, somewhere. Yeah, he might not. Yeah. But interesting. Yeah. yeah. So that was dope that. seeing that. Yeah, it might be. 
The whole Luthen and Mon Mothma scene was dope in, in episode four. Oh, they yeah. go into his shop. That, that was, was cool. Cause in that's the, front, the best thing that happened in the, in in the, the front. Show yeah, so in the front shop, they're like, oh, hi, can I get you this? Would you like to see this? And they go in the back and they're like, hey, I got to get this shit done. You got to do this, this. And yeah, they're like, like, let me show you an artifact in the yeah. back. And then right. they completely like, switch. What the fuck are you fucking doing, you stupid Who's person? the new yeah. driver? <laughs> yeah, that was great. Um, what else? What else? Well, I skipped over Luthen's ship. His ship's dope. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Like a ship. Cool ship's design. So in his shop, there's a ton of nerdy things in the background. They really hovered over that Star Killer looking armor for a long time. I need time. to go back and watch it. Oh, that is had it, is to that be thing intentional. From the Force Awakens, the, uh, Force, the Unleashed. Force Unleashed. Yeah. yeah. So that armor is now I canon. Saw, I saw an article about that. That character is yeah. not canon, but that armor is now canon. There's got to be a reason they put that there. There was something else I saw to in there. To see our reaction, maybe to gauge how much we care. I want that like knife thing that he had. I forget what it was. I got to go back and rewatch these. There is a gun gun shield. Did you see that in the background? No, no, I didn't that see that. That was cool. It's in like the left corner. I watched That's it on cool. my phone. I need to watch it on TV. Obviously, there's that big Mando armor you probably saw, like nope, in the middle didn't of the room. See that either. No, no. And he's got two holocrons in his room too. Didn't wow. see that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's fucking Doc Ondar over here. That's beat me to it. Does he know Doc Ondar? Could he know Doc Ondar? Could I mean they're both are they trading artifacts? weird stuff to yeah. each other? I would. That'd be a dude. If they tie some shit, uh, not, I don't need it. I just need a good story. But if they tied that in, that would be. Fucking oh, sure. awesome! <laughs> what if Cassian's got to deliver something to Doc, and they gotta? That's how he's I gonna trade. Maybe that. that's an arc. I was like, you that. gotta if go trade this. If the series goes to Ba too, Brad will be recording videos at three a.m. Yeah, I'm like, this yeah. is what I'm yeah. talking about. <laughs> Usually, that's me. That's at the end of that joke, so I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. Every now and <laughs> again, Evan. But yeah. <laughs> real quick, Cosmic Rewind exists. Sadly, <laughs> I do run, run so far away. Wow, what a hater! Um, it was cool that. We knew this already. I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. We knew you she enjoyed was it. No. <laughs> we knew she was from Shandrilla already, but they mentioned Mon Mothma, Mothma's from Shandrilla. So they also cool. mentioned Hosni and Prime like nine Twice. times already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like we get and, yeah. and Jakku. It's like, oh, they mentioned and Scarif. And, and Scarif. 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 Scarif got a name drop. And uh, Kessel. They name drop Kessel, too. When they did the, the Jakku thing, I was the Leo. Like, oh, hey. Yeah, yeah. it's like, okay, yeah. you're acknowledging that these like, hey. planets that were made up oh. six years yeah. ago did exist back did in the prequel er, times. Uh, so, yeah. I'm, I'm getting an episode five. Go on. Yeah. Because there's they mentioned Crate in there, and I wanted to... Yeah. Bring that up, yeah. Well, oh. Crater this time would have been a would have is like the first rebellion base. It is. Now right. I really hope that we go to Crate. <gasps> Dude, <laughs> that would be so cool. I really fucking that hope we so do. That would be so cool. Um there's also a like a mortis looking carving in Luthen's office. So that, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty that, cool. That was cool. But that's really it for episode four. They tease this cool dinner party with Sly Moore and Mon Mothma, but Nothing. doesn't happen. So we get to episode five. She gets five. yelled at by our teenage daughter, which yeah. Let one of my fucking kids talk to me like that for and then <laughs> a Perrin, second, and they'll be picking their fucking teeth up off the Perrin floor. Perrin doesn't even support her the whole time, man. Like, as a dad, you got to support, you got to be on the same team. Well. You got to be on the same team <laughs> in a good well. marriage. <laughs> do, you have, do you have that? As in a a good no, marriage? why don't I? How do you not have that? How hard oh, is it God, just to do it? We oh, don't need a button. God. Just Ready? go, Three, two, two fat. one. Well. In a good there marriage, go. you need to support each other, but. Yeah, so we get to episode five. Um, now we're finally caught up. So My what do you guys... kids talk to me like that. Anything? <laughs> <laughs> I thought episode five was the best so far. I mean, albeit I looked at it, how I believe that they are trying to spin this by like be invested in these characters. Something's happening. I was <laughs> glued to that mother-son talk because she yeah. was an abusive piece of shit. Do you think she used to hit him on Kajimi? She absolutely oh, did. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. She I want to know his did. new job. You know what's so funny? We talked about this a little bit today. Because I brought that scene up to you, I said it was the yes. best thing that they've done on the show so yeah. far, and I st- I believe that. Other than like the little Easter eggy stuff, um, I didn't take that as 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 um an ab- like abusive relationship until you brought it up to me, and I was like, "Ooh, I did." 100%. You're not really because yeah. again, I might just need to rewatch it where I'm when I'm not distracted because yeah. I was getting ready for my son off to school, and I was I had headphones in listening to it to my uh-huh. to my TV or my phone, whichever one it was. Yeah. I forget. But I just didn't take it that way. I didn't. It didn't come off to me like that. Um, but now that you say that, I totally see what it's you mean. It's mainly right? in how like Cyril acts around her. Like, yep. He just like eyes down, like head down. He never he's like very makes, defeated. But see, yeah. I think he's just defeated in general because no. he's a fucking loser. It's her. She made him that way. Yeah. Maybe she's kind of she, she's like, not some people are just pussies. No, and not in this. She she is treating <laughs> yes, him like a child. Yeah, yes, I agree with that. <laughs> she's treating him like a child. They're they're yeah. doing this for a reason. Yeah. 
and like having to save him. I'll call your uncle, Uncle Bobo, or whatever the hell his name was. <laughs> yeah, I forgot his name too. Uncle Gideon. Are we getting? I get lost a, my <laughs> shit. Are we getting a uh, black series of the uncle, black series figure? Uncle Bobo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, but it's in the new packaging. When you open it, there's just nothing there. It's a deep, yeah. Well, we don't just know what he looks phone. like already. Rock, space so phone, just a, yeah. a black space phone. Oh, a black. Yeah, just a and black box. It just there's Irish or African? It. Yeah, sure. Speaking of Irish yes. and Scottish, we didn't mention <laughs> that. Those accents, man, in episodes one, two, and three. Oh, yeah. I that couldn't guy understand a, a word he was saying. We're never going to get on the other side of the internet. Oh, and they said shit. For him, yeah. him alone, Everybody he's the reason why I that. watched this show with subtitles. I hated hey, just for that character. There's a whorehouse in episode one. Yeah, well, you and I talked <laughs> about yeah. that. There's a brothel let him say shit that concept doesn't amaze like shock it's me it's pretty though. wild for star wars dude they're in the spice first episode dens. they smoke spice yeah but that's a slave that's still a little jabba more, has slaves that's still Chinese a little more name? like <laughs> <laughs> sorry jabba the, the twi'leks spice? are like enslaved for those purposes too like <laughs> it's been in star wars for 40 yeah, but at years at least carrie fisher put a Slave bikini on. I mean, true. This, and they weren't like, who wants to fuck Leia next? <laughs> Cleo, You're slide. right. But that stuff has been around in Star Wars. That part didn't bother me. The aesthetic was it weird. It didn't bother me. Either. It didn't bother me. I was just like, wow. Whole, cause Plus, I, I got sh- excited when I first saw that. Not <laughs> hear me whoa, whoa, out. Whoa. Hear me out. Because I, <laughs> because I was like, they're gonna go for it, and then they didn't. And they're like, oh no, she's not here. All right. Yeah. Like I was like. It'd be cool. Like, does he take her out? Does he have to like have oh, a fight yeah, with yeah, someone yeah. here? Like, yeah. what does this mean? And then it just was like the rest of the show didn't matter. Yeah. Perfect use of that. <laughs> God. But yeah, that dude's accent alone is why I use subtitles in this show because I was like, I can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> yes, I'll yeah. have a potato, please. Sure. Why not? He's drunk on. I don't know. So it's like I said, I thought it was the best in that yet. But again, like I completely agree that this show is boring. Nothing has happened. But the I'm but I'm not ready to give it to, to say stop yet. That needs to be sold or not sold. That needs oh, to be on the Star Cruiser. Yeah. That just needs to be a breakfast on bot too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that too. That is with the well. blue milk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was cool to see like blue milk being used was. as milk. Like, that that see was, the, was very Halcyon. Cool. Did you it see was. the blue noodles too in episode like I did, two yes. or three? Mm-hmm. I did. Very cool. That's I in, I think, saying that the cookbook shit or something? Be there. That's oh, in it? S- it's in some reference. It's in the cookbook. Yeah. Yeah. The cookbook? It's in the Galaxy's Edge cookbook, yeah. 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 Um, they're clearly building up to something. They're building up to something. I'll I believe know. it when I fucking see it. I thought we'd be, like, balls deep into action at this point. And, like, I, when I say action, so, man, I you don't know. mean, like, explosions no, and no, but fights, like, and you just mean, like, I just mean At this point, I just mean fucking anything, because nothing's happening. There's a little bit of action at the end of episode five, so, like... I didn't it's speak it's not what a, you're looking for. No one wants this show to be better than me. I, I wanted it to be wrong. I was wrong with Mando. I didn't think Mando looked good at, at oh. when I was at Celebration. I, True. Because yeah. the, the thing I was just like, it seemed like they were just kind of doing, and this is not what the show ended up being, but they were just like Easter egg after Easter egg. It's going to be like the original oh, trilogy. Yeah. Easter egg. Easter egg. Yeah, it's yeah. like, that's not why I'm we watching Star Wars. I'm not watching Star Wars for fucking references Member and Easter berries. eggs. I, 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 I want a compelling hey, story. Member. I just don't see it here. Yeah, I don't fantastic. see it. Here. I didn't see it in, in uh, Boba Fett. I didn't see it. I saw it more so in Boba Fett. I didn't see it in Bad Batch. The only true compelling story we've gotten in Star Wars in a while has been the sequel trilogy. And I don't give a fuck what anyone listening to this says. I said what I said. Completely agree. You're not going to argue, get arguments from at least me. <coughs> no, did the last one not. fall no flat a little bit? Here. Yes, it did. Yeah. But at least shit happened. Yeah. You mentioned the sequel trilogy there. Well, we're like six hours into this, fu- like. Five hour, four hours into the show, and mm-hmm. not a goddamn thing this interesting has happened. That's true. Four hours of my life, I've sat in front of a TV I, watching this shit, and nothing's I, happened. I want less Cassian and more Mothma and me too. Luthen. That's what I want. I, let like, me see the rebellion start to form a little bit. Like I know yeah. that's what you're hinting at, but we just get, get there. We don't get enough Luke. We need more Luke. <laughs> we need more Luke. We need <laughs> yes. Han Solo to we show don't up. Need, yes. No. Uh, we need no. speaking of slave Leia. We need her to be in the brothel. Yeah, she's like eight at this point. Evan, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just this is making, actually though this show is making Obi Wan look like a fucking masterpiece. We could be building to Mon Mothma's speech that she does towards the end of Rebels, which would be cool if that oh yeah snuck into this show. That maybe, would be pretty badass. Maybe we're building into something like that. Probably next right? season though. Yeah, that would be cool though. I don't want to have to wait. We might get a little bit of a setup. Maybe we get a uh, ghost crew in the second season. That could I mean, potentially happen. They the were ghost on, was um, in episode yeah, two or one. Well, uh, on Ferrix, the shipyard Cassian's in. 
the ghost is there, or at least the ship of oh, the, the same the class. Ghost was in Rogue One, but it's in Cassian. It's in Andor too. Is it in Andor too? Yeah. Is it? The, is, do we know it's the the, the ghost? It's at least the sure same okay. type of ship, okay. class okay. of ship. Okay, but it's that shape well, and class. At you least. know what this show has made me really think about more and more and more. Ahsoka. I cannot fucking wait for that show. Hey, I've been yes. telling you that's that's my next. Yes. One. Yeah, I, yeah, and I that's just hiding in the background, like. We kn- obviously I didn't forget. It's for being that. shot right now. Yeah, but yeah. like I didn't forget about it. Forget about it. But Dude. when you just said that, my brain was like, "Oh yeah, I'm like, so excited for that." Ahsoka. Like, that's something that I think there's gonna. That's also they do have the luxury of it being like an established character. They really do, and it's Cassian's Rebel established. season five. I get all that. Cassian's I get all that. But though. Cassian's an established yeah. character. I mean, yeah. if it, he's not if as every, established. As but Ahsoka. if everyone's no, saying that Rogue One's below. the best fucking thing, you should just take what's good about him in that and just make a show around it. But they're like, he wasn't the best part of Rogue One. No, he's. They picked one the of the part part lesser of things one. about Rogue One. Yeah. Should have done Krennic. You could have done, you could have done more on Galen. So, the Guardians Saw. of the Wills. This could have been a... Saw. Th- yeah. This could have been a show about Galen and... and um, Krennic. 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 That, on Coruscant. Dude, yep. Or Jin and Saw. All, up. Or, we we that could, could get there, the, though. That could be the two stories. That could be the AB story. That could be coming, though. Saw in the show. And Galen worrying about what she's doing and there's flashbacks with her training with Saw. Like That's what you do with a Rogue One story. Yeah. That's way more interesting than this shit. Yep. Way more. I mean, like, and they've mentioned Sakura like four times. We've seen him here. Like, he's going to be in there for like yeah, two well, seconds at the end, or he's going to come in. No, I, I, think, I think he's, he's going to come in and sabotage middle. this mission. Yeah, that's what oh, I think. Like Memphis Ness yeah. and the Cloud yeah. Riders. Yeah. Oh, that's he's going to be doing happen. his. That'll be cool. Yeah. He's going to be doing his mission. You know, and they don't know about it, and it's going to get some people killed. That's yeah. going to be cool. That's what I think is going to happen. I don't think this is going to be But that's why they're making you care about the characters, though, because they're about to kill all of them all. This is why it's boring the shit out of me, because it's just like. If you're gonna kill all these people anyway, why? I mean, it's we're gonna care because they're and they're helping the hero along. You, when, you, yeah, when you meet yeah. Obi Wan in A New Hope, you don't know his fucking backstory, but you're no. invested already. Sure, you yeah. don't have to tell a, a, a six hour story about these characters for us to care. That's where I'm annoyed. I get the building up of the character. For yeah, it's a show. You have to do that. I totally understand. But you can do it in a more economical way than what they're doing here. Then probably went to the wrong age. Uh, Asian massage parlor because they're like building. You, <laughs> build you care about Max von Sydow's character in The Force Awakens oh, yeah. in like two seconds. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't need with f- fucking nine years of television See, to get to that point. That's like, the you problem care already. The problem is, I think you guys talked about it on your last Andor one before I was here. Is like we shouldn't have a show named after one character. It should be a thing. Yeah. Like, we obviously Rogue can't call this F. Rebels, or but you like could call this Rebellion. Birth or of the Rebellion. Bur- or yeah, something like that. Something, rebellion. I mean, that yeah. you could look over the Rebellion. Yeah, something like that. Because it's not about Cassian. It's about Mon Mothma. It's about Saul. Sure. It's, about, <laughs> it's about all these people coming together. It's yeah. not about Cassian only. So, like, they, that's the problem. Yeah. It shouldn't be just formu- formulaic where it's this character name, Obi-Wan Kenobi, this character name, Andor. Like, it's, it's not about that. It's about what's going on around this character. And they picked him to be that one that's like centralized. We you have to get a virtual pass to watch the first episode of, Re- of, of Rise of the Rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! You have to be in God. the living room. No <laughs> virtual <laughs> pass. To sign up. Disneyland Paris, by the way. That's the shit. That's the way to live. That was nice. I think Cousin Rewind's gonna end there pretty soon. Oh, they got to please. Probably. I think so. I want to do it. Oh. multiple times a day. Let's talk about your your hate your lack of. We meant, I meant to bring up on the show. Yeah. We forgot. We will do it now because I mean that's I mean does yeah. anyone have any more I hate virtual indoor keys. comments? I don't know. Um, I'm, um, so the first like reminder that this was like Star Wars though for a while, because if you take Star Wars out of the beginning of this, sometimes you wouldn't even know it's Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. I agree. But the Tie and Fighter coming in ep- in Episode Five was bit. actually kind of scary. Yeah, like because you're like, oh, I forgot Tie Fighters are a oh, threat. Yeah. Here's yeah. why that works so well. You're so used to seeing like ten thousand Tie Fighters that's in the true. sky. Yeah, that's true. And you don't really realize how big of a threat they actually pose to people on the ground. Yeah, it's like the T Rex. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Especially yes. 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 Especially because it's yes. only like ten feet off the ground, and, and it's like it almost like, clips <laughs> their heads off. Yeah, and it just, it screams I past and then scene. disappears in the in like the forest, and they're like, oh, it's gone. We're but good. You know, you know what comes cool? back. I don't need nine seasons of television to tell me why that pi- that Tie Fighter pilot made that choice. Yes, you do. You don't give a shit. Yeah. It's Tie Verasi. I wish. I wish. It's Pike Grandessa. Before, Before he defected. Before he defected. He's closer this exactly time. Yeah. The, 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 that the, scene worked, though. The problem I have with it. the show, too, and we'll, then I'll, we'll finish this here, but like the problem I have with the show is like I like everything about the show except the content. Sure. I get it. Yeah. Like they're all, The acting is really fucking good. It There's is. 
that we get your you made an appearance I as, did. as My, the uh, conspiracy, conspiracy theorist guy. character <laughs> Nemec, I think. Yes. But you was. know what's funny? Did I, you, he's this the is, exact this opposite of you, though. He's a tiny, weak little. He's very tiny, and weak. Yes, yeah. he's, he's he not looks like a he's on. Dude, he's dying, pad. right? He's yeah. definitely dying, right? Oh, that's what's that? Yeah, yeah. he's, they he's they the all first are. to be killed. They all are. He's on the Star Wars 4chan sites on his data pad. He definitely is. But no, like, and that has to be social commentary because like everything the dude's saying is like coming true, and we all know what the outcome is. Dude, what if? What if they sell his manifesto at Docs one day? <laughs> would you buy it? <laughs> As a novel? You know I would. Yeah. <laughs> at Docs. Tom's like, like this is brilliant. <laughs> <He's> like, I've <laughs> been <laughs> telling you about the Imperial <laughs> Thought Machine <laughs> for like, this long. I've been long. saying this for years. He's like, What's that? The Constellation? Who the <laughs> Constellation? <laughs> you know that uh, um, Iden Versio's mom was the artist that did, in universe, was the, mo- the person who did all the propaganda art for the Empire. That's right? awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that, that's yep. such a cool detail that I love about that fucking story. Yeah. I love it. Um, all right, got, that's it. That's I it. I got two more oh, things. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, you guys Pitch. mentioned it um, about Cassian and K two stealing something from Chewie. Uh, they steal. I think Chewie gets this back to save Han or something. It's like a Sith book, like a book of Sith secrets. So Cassian and K two steal that from Chewie. So that could be season two. We get that. That'd be kind of weird and kind of cool. I don't know. Cannot care less about that. Right. It just it's not that important because we know Han's gonna be fine. Like it doesn't really matter. I, I, I don't need tie-ins in this. I just want something no. to happen. <laughs> yeah. I think one of the biggest problems, though, my last thing is, I think we're all just kind of tired of this era. Like, I'm, I'm done with it. Like, I, I'm good. This, I this era's good. Dude, I've been saying this forever. I've like, been saying let's move on. This yeah. is the most concentrated era of Star Wars content. Like, I'm good. That's why, well, one There's of the many so reasons why. We Ahsoka's going to be great. Because A, it's Ahsoka, but B, it's a different timeline. It's a different we, era, not different We got timeline. it. The Rebellion's Marvel, born. They fight the Empire. We got it. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, Ahsoka's going to be like now a timeline, of fresh that, air. like before the sequel, yeah. Mandalorian timeline. That's yeah. the perfect era to explore. we got 30 years of what happens. Instead of six months of this shit where it's like, okay. Yep. Curious to see how Ahsoka dies. Though. A bunch of scrappy farmers or yeah, fighting guys in white she, suits. Yeah, got she's it. going down. She's coming down. She has to. She was talking to Rey. I know. Yeah. That's what concerned me. <laughs> yep. That would be so sad. Unless she's just reaching out through the force. She could have been. Possibility. She very well could have been. But she does have to die someday, though. Like, she can't live forever. Everybody has to die someday. Thank Even you. in Star Wars, where death doesn't matter. It does matter Except eventually. The <laughs> yeah. I hey, did another body. All right. Uh, I will never sit at the adults. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Brad thought it was funny. Never mind. <laughs> Fucked it up. Um, all right. So, virtual cues. We made, I meant to bring this oh, up yeah. last time at Paris. This is a tie in. This will lead us into the next episode next week. Which we re- haven't already done yet. Yeah, definitely not. No. Um,. <laughs> So Tom was notorious for loving the virtual cues. I've always despised them. I've always hated them. Um, but Tom has had a change of heart after visiting Gay Perry. <laughs> well, <laughs> explain I, I yourself, was, sir. Yeah, Euro well, Disneyland. I went from being a resort <laughs> guest to a AP. It's as simple as that. But you still defended them when you lived when you lived I here. I did, and then I got I got Strum. burned by them more than I ever had before. Yeah. So and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss my big red ass, both of you. Um, and uh, there it is. There it is. That's that's the last. Yeah, yeah, did you hit the like button? The did you already hit it? <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> it sounds just like it, dude. That's the really funniest Brad? thing. <laughs> really, Brad? Uh, <sighs> that's the funniest thing Kyle's ever but said. It, oh, probably, probably, yeah. and it's not even close. Yeah, he's what probably like sitting in Auschwitz right now, like jerking <laughs> off, <laughs> looking at the ovens. <laughs> looking at the ovens, being like, I said something funny once. <laughs> oh man! All right, what were we talking about? Virtual, yeah, virtual cues. Sit at the adults' table. Oh, they suck. You ever watch Craig in the Creek? No, I don't know what that is. Never it's, heard it's, of it. It's fucking hilarious. There's what is it? On there. I, don't, I don't know. It's just a cartoon for kids. I also discovered <laughs> We Three Bears in Paris. That's a fucking hilarious show. We Three show Bears. It's about cartoon three network. gay fat guys. No, no. Oh. It's about I'm three out. Th- three bears. <laughs> <in the forest. laughs> yeah, of course you're out. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Virtual cues. Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> against them now. I I just. They suck. They, they, it's, it's stupid. It's good. It's you came around. Stu- yes, and I'm that. That's what makes me a good libertarian. I can change my view on things when I hear logic. No, you have to be firm in your beliefs <laughs> at all times. Even when and you wrong. can't change, even in the face of evidence that goes against what you believe, you that's have to just al- alternative dig your facts. In, dig Alter- your feet in. Fake news. Yeah, fake news and alternative facts. Dig your feet in and never change. That's my advice, kids. And don't See, good advice. do all the drugs and don't go to school. It's That's hard. my advice. They're even dumber it's when that, it's that for... That goes to be used against me in court. I know it. 
<laughs> what isn't? What isn't at this point? That's fair. But their uh, virtual queues are even dumber for an attraction that's efficient. Like Guardians is super efficient. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Why does it need a virtual queue? Yeah, it doesn't. doesn't. Right. Not not anymore. Rise is not efficient. So like I maybe Lord, you no. could make the case. Maybe. I totally get why you do it initially for like four months to if make that. sure it's at yeah. to make sure once people are on it that's flowing properly right. yeah. and then be done with it. Because you yep. don't, the the problem is you don't wanna have to <laughs> I've dealt with guests being angry about rides getting like evac'd and stuff yeah. and it's a nightmare and yeah. they have rules about how far up into the line before you get recovery Yeah, because then that just makes the problem grow across the park and it's a fucking nightmare so I totally get it but enough's enough let's wrap this up with, yeah. with the fucking virtual queues I'm done well, with them as soon as that one's done Tron will be back Tron will open in two years and then no, Tron Tron's, will get a virtual Tron's queue opening in like Tron, spring spring dude yeah I'll believe it when I see it that's oh. fair <laughs> that's fair I, I, I guess that's fair <laughs> but it's, it's they, they sure as hell queue. rushed up Mickey and Minnie's yeah, that was wild. Right, that they can like, build that, that in like a year and a half. No, no, th- that's what we that's what we thought too. It was announced in 2019. It was April 2019. Uh, I can't believe it either. Still though, they can build that in three years, but Tron takes six and a half. That's a like, big. Well, according to with your own argument, it is just a room with projections. Facts. That's why it's so fast <laughs> and easy. <laughs> like Kyle's mother. Hey! Oh. All right, you fucks. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Thank you guys Wait. for listening. What? Do you need a virtual queue for Kyle's mother? <laughs> Hilarious. All right, there we go. That's it, everyone. Thank you for listening to this episode. We will see you on the next show. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you. Always, and good journey. Rise, Jedi Knight. Hey, Master Yoda. Is this the last episode of Jedi Talk this week? No. There is another. Recorded already. We did not.